Hello, 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 and welcome to episode 43, I believe it is, of my Let's Play of Aurora 4X. So, um, as you can see, our shipyard, Berry Designs Incorporated, has added 500 tons of capacity per slipway. So let's have a look at them. Berry Designs Incorporated. So now they have 14,000 tons of capacity per slipway, so that we can retool for the Mangler Mark II. <coughs> there you go. And when that is done we can of course start produce, producing some Manglers. And as you can see the tow hater, the tow hater slipyard, um, shipyard, <laughs> Morgan AG, currently has um, two slipways. So we could make another uh, tow hater Mark II, but I'm not going to do that right now. First of all, because we will probably make some better sensors very soon, and second of all, because I don't want to have the same situation again where um, we would have to pause every couple of days because a new ship got created. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this ship finish and then I'll probably make two more, and then it'll be enough for a little while, I think, maybe, possibly. So, and what I'm also going to, uh, to do is I'm going to uh, have a look at the mining and maintenance screen over here on Earth. Because, as you can see, um, <coughs> the stockpile of Corundium is currently 41,902, which means that it's dropped off, uh, over another 100 since the last time we checked. So that's not very good, um, but it does mean that it's sort of kind of maybe a bit stable but that we could use a bit more of it a bit more income of it so let's have a look do we have any more auto mines available on earth seven yes so what we're going to do is we're going to supply them over here supply five automated mines and on McNaught Russell we're going to demand five automated mines there you go and then we're going to let the uh, the uh, what you call it the civilians take care of it, take care of bringing them from Earth to McNutt Russell. So, and what I'm now going to do is I'm going to let some more time pass, and when something interesting happens, I'll be back. So, back in a bit. Okay, and some things have happened. First of all, um, Barry Designs Incorporated has finished retooling for the Mangler Mark II. So, let's have a quick look at them. Oh, wrong button. Very, 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 very designs incorporated. So now we can start finally making some. Oh, wrong one. Some CS Mangler Mark IIs. There we go. CS Mangler Mark II 001. There we go. At task. Now, it's going to take a little while. So, yes. But what we're also going to do is we're going to add another slipway, which is going to take even longer, but. Well, if we want to make any amount of, um, well, ships, then we'll have to have more than one slipway. <laughs> so, um, what else has happened? The overhaul clock reduced. As a result of the refit to Towhater 01, her maintenance clock has been reduced by 0 0.03 years, which is nice, I suppose. And uh, tow hater 001 um, refitted on Earth. 10 to 20 crew were added to the ship, changing the grade points to 129.5. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but well. Also, how are we doing on the capacity? Well, we still can only surface um, 6.2 thousand ton uh, ships on Earth. So that's not fantastic at all. But well, we'll have to live with it. Um, more are being built as we speak. Let's have a look how they're doing. Uh, yes, another one will be done, done very, very soon. How's the atmosphere on, the, on Mars going? Carbon dioxide is on 0 0.05 and the nitrogen is getting up there also also not awesome also 
So, and then once the nitrogen is up to 0 0.05 atmospheric pressure, uh, we'll have a look what we'll ha we'll do then. I think that we'll probably add another 0 0.05 nitro uh, atmospheric pressure worth of nitrogen because if you remember we need at least three atmospheric pressure so yes um, I am going to let some more time pass and when something interesting happens I'll be back so back in a bit and something else has happened um, namely another research has been completed by Toby Raymond so our power and propulsion guy he has finished reactor power boost 10%, explosion 10%, and he's now researching max jump boost squadron size. No, not boost. Max jump squadron size 3. Size times 1.0 on Earth. So, yes, um, I am going to let some more time pass. And when something interesting happens, I will be back. So, back in a bit. Okay, and as you can see something else has happened. Um, this time it's another research that has been completed by Catherine Taylor this time into missile, missile launcher reload rate 3. And she's currently researching missile agility 48 per MSP. Which will be done in a little while. Which is nice. So, um... I'm going to let some more time pass, and when something interesting happens, I'll be back. So, back in a bit. Okay then, and something else has happened. Um, as you can see, we completed our research, or actually Toby Raymond completed his research into Mac ju Max Jump Squadron Size 3. Size number 1. So, uh, we are going to have to give him some work now. Uh, power and propulsion, power and propulsion. Power and Propulsion, 10 labs as usual, with Mr. Raymond, <laughs> with his 50%. <laughs> He's amazing. Okay, um, we're going to first do a couple of small researches and then we are going to um, research the this one. The first um researching creating some new engine technology so um what we're going to do right now is we're going to queue this one great yes and i'm going to select him and queue some more researches so capacitor research recharge rate uh yes please queue better fuel consumption more jump drive efficiency more squadron size this Maximum engine power, minimum engine power, minimum jump engine size, and this one. We're also going to queue. So, Toby Raymond is now going to be busy for like 10 years. <laughs> wow, uh, that's funny, he's going to be busy for like 30 years. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, Mr. Raymond. It's, it, it, it's just that stuff. So, how is uh, do we have any more automated mines? How is do we have any more automated mines? Yes, we has more automated mines. So let us send those automated mines over to McNaught Russell. There you go. So um, how is the situation of um, Corundium going? Yes, it's still not very good. But at least uh, geranium is is still rising, so that is very good. But we have the problem that this will be uh, depleted in well twelve years and so. Um, yes. Probably the next big thing will be sorium. We'll probably have to create a couple of. We'll probably have to reserve a couple of colonies for that. So we're going to do that right now. Uh, potential colonies. Right here. Sorium. Um, yes, let us, um, oh, can't create colony on gas giant. Of course you can't. <laughs> Jupiter! Of course. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, silly. 
Saturn! <laughs> okay, I'm getting tired. My jokes are lame. <clears throat> Dido. So, um, yes, but yes, I'm lame. Um, I'm going to clear some more time pass, and when something interesting happens, I'll be back. So, back in a bit. And we've had another mineral run out. This time it's uranium on Herschel Rigolet, which, if I remember correctly, is the biggest civilian mining colony. So let's have a look. Uh, no, not anymore, but it used to be. Herschel Rigolet now only has uranium and galacid, which are both not really all that important. So we're losing quite a bit of money on that. Actually, we're losing about 4,000 space bucks on that a year. 4,000 space bucks, so that's about 5% of our income goes to that one. Yes. But I think that for now uh, we will... How many minerals do you have? How many of each amount, I mean? 53,000, and it's Gallicid and Uridium. Gallicid we have almost a hundred thousand of, and uranium we have more than a hundred thousand of. So I think that, well, we can afford to keep buying them. I mean, we have six hundred, minus six hundred thousand space bucks, and we are gaining a lot. Let's see, where's all that money coming from, actually? Still, uh, eighty percent is coming from tax on populations, but the tax on shipping goods is going up. Last year we gained four thousand on it. And also tax on exports is coming up. Tax on shipping colonists is also rising. And financial centers, where you're currently gaining 2,000 space bucks a year from that. I think actually um, that I want to move uh, some financial centers to uh, Mars because Mars is pretty much useless, except for that tiny bit of sorium, so that we can get those um, available workers to do something. Also, How's the environment on Mars doing? Still working on that 0.05 nitrogen up to 0.0357 currently, so it'll take them a little while longer, but I suspect them to be done with the nitrogen very, very soon. Also, the total atmospheric pressure is currently 0.18. So, yes. Um... Um, let's do some calculating. Uh, calculator to see how many uh, financial centers we need to move to Mars. Uh, we have currently got one and a half million available workers, so that's um, for six. Let's just say fifteen hundred, then then we'll say it in uh, thousands, and you need fifty thousand per financial center, so we can. I have 30 financial centers on Mars. And how many do we currently have on Earth? Financial centers. 78. So yes, we are going to move 30 of them to Mars. There we go. Supply 30 financial center. You can move financial centers, right? No, you can't. Auto mine, construction, factory... How interesting. Can we move them with our own fleet? Uh, freighter. Earth. No! You cannot move financial centers. How very, very interesting. Hmm. Well, in that case... Um, I'm just going to let some more time pass, and when something interesting happens, I'll be back. So, well, actually, I'm going to end this episode right here. So, um, this has been episode 43, yes, 43 of my Let's Play of Aurora 4X. Next episode, um, I will start recording in 1080p. So, yes, you've got that to look forward to. So, goodbye. <laughs>